So today I'm going to be reviewing the KingMax AirQ Check, which is a mobile health device aimed at measuring the quality of air uh, that you're breathing. So it states from the packaging that it's measuring the, it can measure the uh, TVOC, which is total volatile organic compounds, CO2, which is, you know, what we breathe out, uh, humidity and temperature. So this is the device here and it takes micro USB, you can see how big it is, USB stick. Uh, and on the back it's got some information, wait I'll just get that to focus. And it's not focusing. Awesome. Uh, it's got the specifications in English, an Asian language, and another Asian language. But for some reason it says micro USB type B at the top of both of the Asian information boxes. Why won't this thing focus? Okay, really epic fail. Well, for the English part, um, it's got interface micro USB, TBOC types, formaldehyde, acetaldehyde, alcohol, amine, CO, which is carbon monoxide, I think uh, that's what vehicles uh, expel. Um, etc. So, among, I guess, all the TVOCs, as far as I know, and I'll just check online here, uh, it's saying VOCs are naturally higher indoors, uh, the concentrations are, where, that's where they're the highest, um, and harmful VOCs typically are not acutely toxic, but have compounding long-term health effects. So, having a device like this to measure the quality of air in your home, or, you know, even your, your loved ones, your baby, your toddler might be breathing um, dangerous TVOCs every day, and you wouldn't know about it without something like this to test the air. Um, so, I'll just go ahead and unbox it, and we'll test it on my, it says it's compatible with Android 6.0 and below, so Android 5.0 or down to 4.1. And then it's got the gas level indicator on the device, which, it's got a little LED here, that will change color between, what is this, green, uh, fresh, orange, moderate, and red poor. So hopefully when I plug it into my old phone, it's a Galaxy S4, um, hopefully it'll work. So I've already installed the app, which was on Play Store, the King Max AirQ app, and... I'll just show you it here. Okay, I think I'll plug it in first. Oh, and the app started up by itself. So that's the app there, and you can see it's automatically gone to indoor. And, I don't know, it's asking about location. No, that's okay. So, just see what settings it's got. Settings for language, warranty, TVOC. Oh, it's got a frequently asked questions. A user manual. Sorry, <laughs> I should be showing it, but I can't look at the same time. And a home button. Okay, so it, it starts off on a default home page, which has got all the measurement uh, options right here that you can see. And I'll start with TVOC because, you know, that's probably the, the one that you'd be worried about the most. And you can see here it's got three different options. And what that is, is they are intervals. So you can set it on a one second interval, a 10 second interval, or a one minute, uh, 60 second interval. And we're just going to do one second for this test because, uh, you know, real time. And uh, you'll see here, I'm trying to angle it on the camera, it's detecting zero. So how do we know if it's working? Well, it's flashing green at the back, which says fresh. But what I'll try doing is, uh, I guess the air we breathe out, including carbon dioxide, would be part of TVOC. So I'll try breathing on it. And... <laughs> maybe my breath is perfect. Okay, I came up with two parts per billion. So maybe the TVOC sensor isn't that uh, accurate uh, for just, because there is a CO2 sensor. So we'll try something else like this 70% isopropyl alcohol I've got here. And I'll try just putting that near the little hole sensor here on the side. And I'll show you if the LED is changing. And it's jumped straight to 1000 on my screen. So the LED should flash red. And I'll also flip it around. You can see that over 1000 parts per billion. So that would be considered bad quality of air. You wouldn't want to be breathing fumes from this every day. Or you wouldn't want your kid holding it with a bottle open, you know, sniffing it. But there's a press to stop button. And you can see when I stopped it, it says quality poor. So there you go. And now I'll just exit out of that. And I'll go to CO2, which, well, that one would be the obvious choice for my breath. And I'll set it to one and start breathing on it. And see if it, oh, it's saying 400, which maybe that's not, press to stop it. Maybe that's, I guess, okay for, it, for breathing, for breathing someone else's air. But you can see here I've stopped it on 400, which is my breath. And it's saying that's normal. So cool. Um, try it one more time with a little bit more. Uh, went up to 586, so maybe the air in, in this room is really clean. I am running an air con, but you can see it's gone back to normal. Right, okay, well, <laughs> I guess I didn't press stop quick enough. Anyway, so that's the CO2 sensor, and then we'll go to humidity, which looks like this, and it's sensing right now. I am in the Philippines, so I'm expecting it to be fairly high. 81% in this room, like maybe if I was outside, it's been raining, it'd probably be a bit higher. 
I could possibly check the humidity in my mouth, but... No, it's not affecting it. Oh no, it went up from 77 to 79 and 81. Uh, 82.7. 83.7. So it's gone up when I put it near my mouth, which has got saliva. I'm guessing there's some humidity expelling from my mouth. And it should go down as I'm holding it near the camera, which it's doing. Yeah, cool. And lastly, temperature, which I have to exit and go back in. One second. Here we go. So temperature in this room is 26.2. And it's staying fairly stable. I'll try breathing hot air on it. I got it to go up to 26.7, I guess. <laughs> I guess I don't breathe that much hot air. But just for testing purposes. And there you go. Um, so that's the King Max AirQ GS01. It's got a one-year warranty, and it's perfect for testing the quality of your air. Um, I would go out in the rain, but, you know, <laughs> um, I do want to test it down in the middle of the city where you can smell the traffic fumes constantly. But as far as indoor goes, it seems to be working great, and... I would recommend this product to anyone that's curious about the quality of air they're breathing, uh, especially if they've got painters or someone using something that's nail polish, you know, anything like that, that you can really smell because that uh, TVOCs, the volatile organic compounds, do fall under mostly odors and smells that you'd smell around your home. Um, on the wiki, it actually says, uh, somewhere here, most TVOCs, and where is this? Most scents or odors are VOCs, so volatile organic compounds. So they can cause human health and harm to the environment. And yeah, that's the end of my review. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, sorry if it's a bit amateur because this is the first review I've ever done and the first time I've ever gone on webcam for anything. So um, I'm a little bit nervous, but thanks for watching. Bye.